Hey guys, welcome back to the video. I just, if I look a little more bronze, because I just got back from Greece and uh, it was it was a lovely time, lovely time. Um, spending time with my family and whatnot. Um, and it was interesting being able to be with my son every single day with no work, work, um, and just being able to like take him to the beach and the park, it was a good time. So if you guys that, you know, saw the photos on Instagram or whatnot that my wife posted, um, it was enjoyable. Anyways. Hey, Mr. Mario looked at the uh, looked at the analytics on these videos, and he uh, noticed that ninety percent of you are not subbed to the channel. Ninety percent are not subs. That means the YouTube gods are not telling you that uh, these videos are getting posted. You're not notifying. So let's stick it to the YouTube gods. I want you guys to hit the subscribe button, turn all the notifications on, so that. Our messages are getting across to the platform and to the individuals that need to hear them because they might just save somebody's life or change somebody's life. And I, I believe that and I know that because I get the DMs, I get the messages, I see the people that join the Agogi and uh, and hear the transformation stories that they, that they have based off of these simple, clear messages that we drop right here on the podcast and on you guys to YouTube. So subscribe, hit the, hit the little notification bell so we can stick it to the man. Um, so real quick, we're going to talk about morning routine, but I want to talk about my morning routine before I had a morning routine. And that morning routine was um, lack of anything. It was sleep until I felt like it. I mean, I always got up early-ish, but the sun was coming up. Um, I would immediately get on my phone and just scroll through bullshit. Um, you know, I'd have a cup of coffee and sit down, and I just kind of had this lackluster approach to the morning. So I chose, you know, you guys have heard me talk about hard over easy um, and what that means and what, you know, what happens when you choose easy before hard. And I did, I have a lot of hard things and I gained weight and I wasn't making the money that I make now and just my mind wasn't right. Um, and I really had no clear structure. I had no clear structure. So, and that led to frustration and depression and fat around my waist and just, uh, it just, oh God, I can never go back to that. I can never go back to that. So now um, I have developed this morning routine and a lot of people talk about it that you have to, you don't have to get up at 5 a.m. and you don't have to do all these things. It's about what you do with the time. And you know, I believe that to a certain point, but for me, for Nick and for the people of the Agogi, we need structure. <laughs> We need a routine. We need, we need certain things that are going to keep us level and keep us on the right path. So this is what I've developed. Uh, it's what works for me, and it might just work for you. And I truly believe that everybody needs a morning routine to be success, successful. Um, my, my friend and, and mentor, Bedros Koulian, has a morning routine. You know, guys like Ed Milet talk about their morning routine. Uh, my good friend, Nick Bear from BPN, they talk about their morning routine. My good friend... Um, the CEO of Sydney Gordon, he has a rock solid morning routine. So there's a trend here that all these super successful millionaires have a very tight morning routine. So what do we do? We copy the greats, right? We copy what works. So I copied and I developed my own morning routine. So my morning routine starts the night before. It starts the night before with making sure that I check my calendar and I get my GSD list, my get shit done list. What am I going to do? There's no, for me, when I wake up, there's no questioning about what my routine looks like. What am I going to do? I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to, what's in my notebook, what's in my calendar that I'm going to attack that morning, right? So I have a block of time, GSD. A lot of guys in the Agogi see it and I'll, I'll explain that why here in a second, but I have a block of time in my calendar. What's my get shit done time? And, uh, and I go over that the night before. So I'm mentally prepared and I know exactly what I'm stepping into the next morning. And what happens when you have this, when you write these lists and you, and you knock these, you're, you're, even if it's like very small thing, write a post, write a blog, write a chapter. Um, I mean, I wrote the free ebook. I can put that Mario, put that link below. Um, Marine Raiders, you know, uh, four steps for like a, hu a super successful life. Um, and yet you, you guys can just put your information in and it'll just send you an ebook. Um, but I wrote that during my GSD time. It took me three or four days and I wrote that whole ebook 
during that time. So anyways, so the night before I do that, then I set my, I set my alarm. 5 a.m., seven days a week, without fail. Sometimes you don't get to bed at the time you want, which sometimes I like this. I've talked about this a lot. Sometimes I, I, you know, I'm traveling or I don't get to sleep or something. I wake up and I execute anyway. And it just makes me feel kind of alive when you're feeling that tired and you still get to serve. You still get to show up for your kids, your wife with a positive attitude. I do my mentorship calls and um, I, I, I fucking nail it regardless of being tired. So seven days a week, 5 a.m., okay? And the reason for that is that it just, it just keeps the consistency. I've noticed that if I just fall off one day, I just don't feel the same way. I don't hit the same metrics. I don't hit the same rocks. I don't get the same W's. And, and part of this is stacking W's, right? So 5 a.m. wake up, no snooze because you set an alarm. That was a promise to yourself. When you hit the snooze button, you're telling yourself that your promise is not that important your goals, your objectives in your life, the things you're getting up for, the things that you're maybe you're waking up and going to work out, you're doing something, you're you, whatever it is that you promise to yourself, you're going to go on a jog, that sleeping in bed, cozy next to your wife under the nice warm blankets is more important than everything else in your life. Your objectives, your goals, your family, the things you're, the, the person that you're becoming, the thing that you're building is not important. So you cheat on yourself. And there's nothing worse than cheating on yourself. So no snooze. We're in the no snooze. So I wake up. I immediately go in and drain the main vein. And then I step on the scale. And I record my weight. And that's just me. I'm not saying everybody that needs to do that. But I record my weight every single morning because obviously I'm in the fitness. I'm either bulking or cutting or doing something and maybe cutting for jiu-jitsu. I'm always doing some shit that I'm messing with my body composition. And I'm always, you know, moving the needle forward, trying to build more skeletal mass, lose more fat, whatever it is. But I'm always doing that. So I record my weight first thing in the morning. The next thing that I do is I walk into the, um, actually, excuse me, I screenshot the time that I wake up. Because in the Agogi, we have something called the morning roll call. And this is to show everybody that you're awake and you're attacking your day. So it's simple as that. I screenshot, I post it in there. And the reason why that I do it, not that I need to do it, but I want to lead by example. And if I'm expecting everybody in the Agogi, the 400 plus members that we have in the Agogi, to do the same thing, and we're all in the same tribe, and we're all living the same way, then I do that. So I post my little screenshot, let them know that I, I'm, I'm up, and I'm attacking the day right there along with them. And, uh, and you know, if it drives a little competition, right? Because if somebody sleeps until six, they're like, shit, man, the whole gogi woke up at 5 a.m. You see that, right? Don't you? So, whole, you know, you're like, you're 545. You're like, God damn, Nick got me, man. About 45 minutes. I'm 45 minutes late. So it builds a little competition. And us men, we need that in our life. Um, anyways, I go into the, uh, go into the kitchen and uh, I mix my cocktail of strong greens, uh, BP and strong greens, strong reds, and uh, a scoop of in focus uh, first thing in the morning. And I've been doing that for years. And it just, for me, it, uh, I've noticed, and it's funny, the people that, in, people that do it with me, um, I actually got a bunch of my staff here. They, and the only thing that we can say is we just don't feel the same. Energy, bowel movements, um, and you got to have, you know, as, we, as you get older, you know, a good BM is important. Uh, never underestimate those. Uh, but, yeah, just energy, cognitive function, um, you know, digestive system, everything across the board is just functions better. And I just, you just seem a little more clear headed to start your day. And then uh, after that, uh, after I take my, my um, strong greens, I walk in, this is in a, a non jujitsu day. I walk into my garage and there sits the cold plunge. That's anywhere from between 44 and 48 degrees. And then sometimes I just stare at it and go, shit. <laughs> And, um, so I, and I, so I, I take five breaths and I jump in there and I do three minutes, three to five minutes in that typically is three minutes. Once a week, I do about five or more, or I do rotations. I'll do four rotations on the weekend with, with my wife, but daily I will do on a non jujitsu day. I get straight into the cold plunge three minutes. So about by five twenty, I've done all this, uh, get out of there, um, 
depending on what my GSD list time, I can get in the sauna and start writing my morning thoughts. So a lot of those videos that you guys see of the kind of the motivational videos, those are those are my morning thoughts that I'm I'm pondering on in the sauna. And that that's if that's on the list. If not, then I go into the office after the cold plunge, throw on a hoodie, grab my uh, coffee, and then I'll walk into the office and I'll start attacking my GSD list. At about 6 a.m., if 6.30, Little man gets up, and that's when I pivot into family time with my son, my daughter, um, and my wife until we start our day. And then I'll do breakfast time with them. And then at 8 a.m., I'm off to the gym. And from 8 to 10, I'll do, get in there. I'll sit in the gym. I do my pre-workout. I'll do a scoop of flight and uh, endo pump. And uh, I'll do a little post. I'll talk to you guys. And then about 8 28 30 i start my training um train for about an hour and a half and uh, and then take a shower at the gym and i start my day and that's my morning routine and i am on freaking repeat with that and if somebody interrupts that morning routine i can get a little grumpy but um but i've learned to pivot and modify if things get you know get out of whack um so i don't get so much grumpy but i really do operate mentally better when I stick to that routine and I just, I just have the same thing. And it's, I, you know, if anybody's tracking me, it's a horrible pattern of life that I've built. But man, for somebody who has a TBI, for somebody who's dealt with a host of issues, when you create this routine, you just stay so much more grounded. You stay happier. You don't deal with depression. Like, especially for, from my background, you need this. There's a reason why routines help people with all different kind of things move the needle in their life so you got to think like i'm stacking wins along the way like weighed myself that's a w took my took my supplements that's a w all right woke up and didn't hit the snooze button or didn't go back to sleep i kept my promise to myself that's a w right so by 6 a.m i've done a cold plunge i've taken my subs i've done a post i've done all these different things i've gotten my gsd list done i have a fucking by in one hour i have a whole bunch of wins on the jiu-jitsu days, I wake up, I do the same thing. I don't do the cold plunge. I grab my bag that's packed the day before. I go to jiu-jitsu, come back, do the do the cold plunge right after jiu-jitsu, which actually really helps if you're if you're if you're a BJJ guy. Highly suggest the cold plunge uh, post training, and then um, and then the routine's the same. Breakfast with the family, and I start my work day, and that is it, man. Every single every single day, I start the exact same way. And it just fucking, it's a beautiful, beautiful symphony of something that just works. So I challenge you to try my routine. If you don't have a routine, try my routine. And if you're like, man, I can't get up that early. Okay, we'll just do, get up 15 minutes earlier. Run that for three days. And three more days, another 15 minutes. Another three days, run 15 minutes. Until you're up where you need to be. Maybe you need to get up at four. Maybe you need to, Get up at 345. But the biggest thing is, is you got to take care of you. I'm going to talk to the men right now. Men, you have to take care of you. You have to get up early so that you can get your mind right. And maybe it's prayer. Maybe it's meditation. Maybe it's, you know, a few things of work, getting your shit done, whatever it may be. You need to get yourself right so when your family wakes up, you're there to serve. You're not worried about yourself. I'm telling you, it will change everything in your life. It will change your relationship. It will change your relationship with your wife, your kids. It will change the way how you feel. It will change the way they make you feel. It's a beautiful thing. But this is the reason why you have to do the hard things first. Get up, take care of yourself, get yourself right. So when they're up, you're all about, you're all there, just all in, ready to serve. Guys, if you struggle with this or if you need, you need more things, comment below. I'll personally respond to them. I work my way through them. All right. If you if you need help with more than that, get that ebook or just click the link below that you know help you to get into the agogi, and uh, you'll let you get to hear me talk about this stuff uh, twice a week plus all the fitness and nutrition things. Um, but yeah, click those links. You guys know the deal. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a review if you're listening to this on the podcast. Appreciate you guys so much, and uh, and everything, all the comments, and how much you guys have engaged with us. You guys know the deal. Never quit. Never surrender. We always keep moving forward. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.